Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea, so if you are new here, I do a lot of lifestyle videos and vlogs, so if you haven't subscribed and you would like to, the little button is on the side, or maybe this side. I don't know what side, but it's on, you'll find it. Um, but anyways, today I'm doing a review on Let Go and my experience buying on the app. So let's get into it. Lego is an app where you are able to, one, sell things. It's a great way to make extra money on the side if you are moving or you just decide you don't want a piece of furniture or something like that. Um, and two, it's a really great way to, to save on things that you want to buy used or new but at a really good discount. Um, I both have sold on let go and bought a let go. But today we are talking about buying on let go. A reason why I prefer let go to let's say Craigslist is because you're able to look at multiple listings, pictures, conditions, and also the rating of the seller. Um, you are able to look at their profile picture and different reviews that previous buyers have said about the seller, which makes you feel a little bit more comfortable when meeting up with the person. Also in Leco, you'll be able to message the seller. And I'll show you a clip later on in this video about how, how I went with my mom to go meet up with the seller to buy a Canon 10 to 18 millimeter lens. I really wanted this um, for vlogging and also travel pictures. This is a wide angle lens, so it's amazing for landscapes. So this is, I've, I've, I've wanted it for a really long time. <laughs> Retailed on Amazon, it's 280, but I was able to negotiate with the seller for 150. So that is such a great savings. And this lens is basically really new. She says she bought it and her husband like broke the camera. So um, his loss is my game. It was really nice that in the app, you were able to message the seller See if you're able to negotiate and also agree upon a location to meet. So during your messaging back and forth, you want to see kind of the vibes of the other person because of course if they're being rude or they're being shady and trying to hide details of the product, that's probably a good sign you should not go with that seller, you should not try and meet up with them. Um, so always use your best judgment when deciding when to meet um, and also where to meet. Never go to a person's home. Um, you always want to go to a really public location like maybe like a grocery store. Yeah, that's usually been my place of choice um, which, is, which is nice. It's well lit. Um, there's a lot of people around so you're pretty safe. Something else to consider is bringing somebody with you. Okay, so we are here at the location going to pick up the camera lens and I brought my mom. <laughs> no! Porque tú no me vas a dejar beat up, ¿verdad? Or get stolen. No. <laughs> um, I had my mom come with me just for, I don't know, extra security measures. It's always nice to have someone there just in case something happens. You always want to have your phone on you and a public place, daylight time. You probably should not go once it's nighttime, uh, just to avoid anything from going wrong. Um, but in my experiences, it's always been really great. Um, never felt unsafe at all. Like I said, you can also look at the reviews of a seller. If you have two sellers and one has more reviews and has five star ratings, you probably will feel more comfortable if it's your first time ever buying from Lego to go to that other seller just so you have like peace of mind. But yeah, once I met up, I was able to ask the woman if it's okay if I can test it out on my Canon. So I was able to attach it, make sure it was auto-focusing correctly, making sure there's no like scratches on the lenses on either side. She was really nice and very patient. Um, and then I also asked her if she it was okay to use either Venmo, Zelly, or Cash App. If you are not familiar with them, you are able to transfer money right away just by phone number or email, which is nice. Um, but you can also go with cash if you just want to avoid any type of complications. Cash is always the best way to go, but I'm, I am love Cash App, I love Sally, I love Venmo. I don't carry cash around on me ever. It's a miracle sometimes if I carry a $20 bill. So yeah, 
so she gave me her phone number i was able to put it in my bank of america app and send her 150. i asked her to make sure she received it and yeah that was it that was my lego purchasing experience um it was very pleasant she left me a really great review which is nice um but yeah i really prefer lego there's also another app called um I can't remember. I'll put it right here um, if you guys are interested. This app lets you look at items from all across the country and you can pay for shipping. So you also will see people's ratings on there, I think. I've always used Lego, so make sure you do research on this app, but I've heard really good reviews. Yeah, and that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment or a question down below. I always read all my comments, so I'll make sure to get to it. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.